Hello everyone out there. How are you all? Hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to English and Educational Updates. In this short video, we will be exploring how to attend online training on Diksha which is abbreviated as Digital Infrastructure for Knowledge Sharing organized by CIET stands for Central Institute of Educational Technology conducted on the aegis of and support of NCRT National Council of Educational Research and Training so dear viewers ee roju video lo manamu ee oka diksha training program 27th march nunchi 31st march varaku day wise schedule topics and the professors or the content experts and also we will also discuss the steps to be followed to successfully complete this training program how to register how to participate how to watch and how to submit the post assessment data as well as getting the certificate so one by one let us observe dear viewers so meer screen pane chustunnattuga ee oka diksha poster manamu ee oka site nunchi ciet.nic.in nunchi meer download chesukovachchu so let us now observe so ee training program commences on 27th march with the topic policy perspectives and scope in education manandar telusu we are all aware that national education policy 2020 has brought in enormous and revolutionary changes in the school education wing and what are the policy changes what are the different perspectives and what are its challenges and other implications will be discussed in the first session second session includes energized textbook and digital resources so dear viewers in the context of ap we are having revolutionized technological resources for example by this tab you are making use of qr code enabled textbooks all these how effective are they to our rural and urban area school going children so qr code quick response codes ela vaadukovali what are the open resources that are available from our online web resources and how to make use of them will be discussed on the second day and the third day how to make use of virtual labs and promoting vocational education verticals in our school education sector on the fourth day fln standing for foundation literacy and numeracy and education for all verticals includes all stakeholders and the fifth day topic is online courses on diksha so what are the various courses available on diksha platform which means diksha android app enabled by ciet under the aegis of ncrt and scrt respective scrts so all these topics will be discussed elaboratively and we can watch either online and at our own convenience and get the information and get the practical inputs and on the last day we need to submit the assessment form in order to get the certificate so for further information we can contact uh, either with this website or dr angela who is uh, the in charge of this entire diksha training program given our in our uh, samagra siksha proceedings so this is the youtube channel and now let us discuss the objectives and who can participate so let us now observe objectives of this program the objective of this program is to orient in service and pre service teachers teacher educators students parents and other stakeholders of school education on know how means what kind of technical knowledge is essential to undergo this training program and other resources on diksha platform so this is the objective and who can participate students teachers teacher educators means diet faculty lecturers parents administrator general public and the program schedule as i have explained earlier so the day one is policy perspectives and spoken and scope in education uh, organized by professor amrendra p behra jain director site ncrt likewise we will get the day two schedule and resource person day three schedule uh, concerned resource person and with this we conclude our uh, preliminary information now the second step is how to 
register and how to watch how to get the certificate this one is given here so step one is register yourself by clicking the link this link i will explain second step is watching the live panel discussion uh, the timings are from four o'clock to five o'clock so if you are unable to attend it you can watch it on the uh, ncrt official youtube channel and get the content so that you can attempt the final assessment test so the third step is conducting uh, attempting the post session activity for certification and the main important point here is in the quiz we need to get more than 70 percent of the multiple choice questions are the given questions so now let us see how to submit your feedback on the last day and now we will get into registration process for this we need to go to our registration google link it will pop up like this so the data i have already pre-filled in please do observe the google form so here it will ask the email address state of andhra state and your title I have already pre-filled the data, number, profession, here you can give a school teacher or teacher educator, so either of them is okay, and the level of your teaching, have you attended any training program on Diksha, yes, Nista 2.0 as secondary level teacher, you have underground, and what is the objective is expectation, to gain both technical knowledge and content knowledge, any other inputs, Please conduct hands-on experience sessions. And how did you come to know this information? Through NCRT and SCRT and Samagra Siksha. So Samagra Siksha information is not provided here. So you may click NCRT and click on submit. So after this, we need to uh, observe the proceedings given by our state of Andhra Pradesh. So it reads as Diksha online training program digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing and instructions given to all uh, honorable DOs and APCs in the entire state of Andhra Pradesh. So here we can get the timings and proceedings information. This is the site address, web website address. We can click and get the information. So with this we conclude our Today's video, I wish you all happy learning and keep learning. Have a great day ahead. So please do subscribe and encourage us to do more educational videos. Thanks a lot for watching.